My name is John Jones and I'm a close-up magician. Welcome to my video profile. I'll demonstrate some card tricks for you to give you some idea of what it is you might expect from me if you were to hire me for your event. This could be your wedding, your birthday party, company dinner or corporate entertainment. So let's get started. Now why I became a magician is because that when we're children we believe that magic is real. We believe in Santa Claus, we believe in the Easter Bunny and all sorts of other magical things. But as adults, we become sceptical. We stop believing in those things. What I do is I use sleight of hand, misdirection and distraction to create the illusion that magic is real. And what that does is it leaves you with a very unique feeling. A feeling that simply reminds you of what it felt like to believe that magic was real. So. We'll start as any normal card trick does. Why don't you go ahead and grab a card? Any card you like. Perfect. Now, if you'd be so kind as to quickly write your name on the face of that card for me. Excellent. We'll pop that away roughly in the middle of the deck, just by there. Okay. Now, it's important in the nature of distraction that you don't take your eyes off the deck, because the moment you take your eyes off the deck, your card is already in my pocket. See? So don't take your eyes off the deck. If I put it into the middle and I push it in with my finger at the end there, just snap my fingers, it jumps straight back to the top. But I'm going to make it harder this time. We'll cut the deck and the whole half goes underneath like this. I give it a flick, a click, a tap, and again it jumps straight back to the top of the deck. There it is, the nine of spades. It's a good trick if you can do it. I'll tell you what, we'll take that nine of spades, I'll give it a little spin and it should turn into your card. Now a moment ago I pushed it in with my finger from the end of the deck and this time I'm going to spread the cards out like this so you can see the whole edge of it along there as it goes in when I push it in with my elbow. And it jumps straight to my teeth. But that's because the card is never really in the deck, you see. It's always somewhere else, like it was in my pocket, it was on top of the deck, it might even be in my jacket for example. So it's not really in the deck, but I'm going to take it a step further. Just a, just a little step further. What if I told you I never really had the card, but it was kind of just an illusion. You see, as a magician, I only really show you what I want you to see. So you only really see what I want to show you. But I never really told you about the card inside this box. This is the only ten of spades in the entire world that looks like that because you wrote your name on it. So, let's do a little something with the aces. Here's four I prepared earlier. We're going to split them into this deck into four packets and each of these aces is going to go into their own packet. So let's put this from the, I think that's sixth from the top there, sixth from the bottom even. It's very important that I know exactly where the aces are going um, because otherwise you can't manipulate them, can you? So that one's that one was sixth as well. This one's going uh, fifth from the bottom there. Uh, and this one I'll make sure is fifth as well. So we've got the sixth from the bottom, sixth from the bottom, uh, fifth and fifth. Okay. So then we shuffle these little packets together like this. So that puts them at very specific locations in the deck, okay? And as long as you know those locations, it should be, <laughs> should be uh, relatively easy to find them again, see? So let's give it a go. I think the first one is there, the second one should be 17th, third one, fourth one, and the fourth one, oh! Moment of truth, the ace of spades. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to hire me for your private party, your wedding, your corporate event, anything that you'd like, you can find my number here, you can get straight through to me, or you can find me on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.